begins in 1964, where a child is shown at the New York World Fair, whose name is Frank Walter. Frank's mind is very innovative. He has made a jetpack. He takes that jetpack to David Nix. David asks him, does your jetpack work? Frank says, my jetpack works, but not properly. There is also a girl named Athena. She is very impressed by Frank's work. But David completely rejects her work. When Frank is sat outside, Athena comes to him. She gives him a label pin and tells him to follow her. 043 Frank asks her, who are you? Athena says, I am the future. After this, Frank follows her by a boat. And when his boat goes into a tunnel, a laser light scans the label pin given by Athena. After this, a gate opens. With this, his boat goes down and stops in front of a strange room. And when he goes inside that room, he finds out that this is not a room, but a lift. They take him down. Frank comes out of here. That's when two robots come here. They scan Frank. They also look at Frank's jetpack. And whatever is missing in his jetpack, the robot completely fixes it. That's when two people see Frank here. Frank falls down in fear of them. And when he is constantly falling towards the ground, that's when he grabs his jetpack. Starting with which he is saved from falling on the ground. After this, Frank goes to Athena. Athena tells him that the name of this place is Tomorrowland. Now this thing goes on for many years. Frank has grown old while living in Tomorrowland. And this is the time of the year 2015. Where a girl is shown on the ground whose name is Casey. Casey deliberately causes trouble in NASA's launch program again and again. Because her father is an engineer in NASA. And if this launch happens, her father's job will be left. Once when Casey is causing trouble in NASA's launch program, then he is caught. The police arrest him. The next day when he is released, he also has a lapel pin in his luggage. This lapel pin is exactly the same as it was many years ago. Frank got it in 1964. As soon as Casey touches that pin, she reaches Tomorrowland. She is completely shocked to see this world. Everything here is very modern. Casey can see everyone in this world. But no one can see Casey. And that's when the reverse counting begins in his pin. That is, the battery of his pin is getting down. And as soon as the battery of the pin runs out, she comes back to her world. Casey is completely surprised at what happened to her. She goes back to her house and tells everything to her brother. Both of them start searching for pins on the internet. And they see the same pin on the internet, which has an address. And Casey reaches that address. This is a shop. And when Casey shows the pin to the shop owners, they are completely surprised. They ask Casey, where did you get this pin from? Casey says, I don't know. They ask Casey, did you meet that little girl? Casey says, I don't know anything about anyone. And when Casey can't answer them, they both attack Casey. But before they kill Casey, Athena comes here. She fights with the shop owners to save Casey. And during the fight, she breaks one's neck. And here we find out that the shop owners were robots. And as soon as Casey and Athena leave the shop, a robot blasts itself here. Athena steals a car from here and takes Casey out of this place. Athena is the one who gave the pin to Frank in 1964. She is still the same. Because Athena is not a human. She is also a robot. Athena tells Casey that I am also a robot. The pin you got with your stuff, I kept it. It was my last pin. And Tomorrowland is not an illusion, but it is a truth. My job is to take such people from the earth to Tomorrowland. Who have talent, who want to do something. So that they can go to Tomorrowland and make new things, invent new things. And you have also been chosen for Tomorrowland. The next morning, Athena leaves Casey outside Frank's house. And when Casey goes to Frank's house. And she shows him the pin, after touching it, she had reached Tomorrowland. So Frank comes out, and tells him to go back to his house. But Casey wants to go to Tomorrowland. That's why she sits outside his house. At night, Frank sees on his screen that a burning bulldozer is coming towards his house. He goes out running, and with an advanced machine, he freezes the whole bulldozer there. Then Casey goes inside his house, and closes the door from inside. Frank tells him to open the door. But Casey says that until you take me to Tomorrowland, I will not open the door. Casey sees a lot of modern things there. And when she goes inside a room, there are a lot of screens there on which the stages of the destruction of the earth are going on. Also, a 60-day reverse count is also going on here. That is, the earth is going to end in 60 days. That's when Frank comes in, and he tells Casey to go from here. Casey tells him that you will have to tell me what is going on here. 
And what did you do that you were taken out of Tomorrowland? Frank tells that I had invented something, because of which I was taken out of Tomorrowland years ago, and whatever destruction you are seeing on the monitors of the Earth. This will definitely happen, but Casey does not believe him, and because of not believing him, all the destruction on the screens on the Earth, all of them are reduced. Seeing this, Frank is completely surprised, and now a team of robots comes here to kill Casey, but Frank saves Casey from those dangerous robots. After this, he puts him in a bathtub with him, and then a robot attacks them here, but before he kills them both, the bathtub flies like a cannonball in the air, the whole house is blasted, and their bathtub falls into a lake in the nearby. Actually, Frank had already prepared for it. Now Athena also comes here, seeing which Frank is not at all happy, because when Frank and Athena were friends in childhood, so Athena hid the truth that she was a robot from him. But now Frank has to go with these two. There are a lot of arguments between these two in the car. Frank asks him how did you give him the pin? 638 while all the pins were destroyed in Tomorrowland. Athena says that I ran away with 12 pins. And the pin I gave to Casey was the last pin. And this is the reason that Tomorrowland wants to kill Casey and Athena. Now all three of them go to a place where there is a teleportation device. With this device, a person can go from one place to another. Frank asks Athena here why was Kaylee chosen? She says that she has not given up yet. Actually, almost everyone on Earth has already agreed that the Earth will end. But Kaylee still believes that something can be better. After this, they reach the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris with this teleportation device. Where they go into a secret room in which Gustav Eiffel who built the Eiffel Tower. Also, Jules Verne, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison are dummies. Frank tells Casey that all of them had made a future society together. Opening parenthesis comma closing parenthesis. So that scientists could invent there without stopping. The name of this place was Tomorrowland, which is in another dimension. And the Eiffel Tower was not made to see people. But this is an antenna. We can go to Tomorrowland from here. Gustav Eiffel, Jules Verne, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison made it. So that they could go to Tomorrowland from here in an emergency. But they never needed it. And now Frank starts the machine here. And as soon as the machine starts, a flying object comes out of the ground. The Eiffel Tower is divided into two parts. The whole world is surprised to see how the Eiffel Tower was divided into two parts. And now all three of them sit in that flying object. And reach the other dimension from here, that is, Tomorrowland. Where the governor of Tomorrowland comes to these three with his men. Whose name is David. David wants to send these three back to Earth. But Frank tells him that I am on the Earth of your machine. With which you can see the future. With which I could see the future of the Earth. But when I told this to Casey, he did not believe me. And when he did not believe, the condition of the earth there was better than before. That is, there was less destruction there. David does not believe him. Frank tells him that you can see all this with your own eyes. Casey does not understand anything here. He asks Frank what I have to do. Frank tells him nothing, just stay the way you are. After this, they reach the machine with which the past and future can be seen. This machine was made by Frank when he was in Tomorrowland. And now they start that machine. Casey's mind is very sharp. That's why he easily starts operating this machine. And they start seeing the future of the Earth. Casey also sees his house, which is completely destroyed. All these pictures are 60 days later when the Earth will be completely destroyed. Casey does not believe this. She says that this cannot happen. And as soon as she says that, in the future of the Earth, where she could only see destruction, everything was fine there. Although David sees it, but he does not believe her. That's why he locks these three in jail. But Casey understands one thing. The machine that Frank has made here to see the past and future. It has a lot of energy. And he sends this energy to the earth. And one reason is that Frank can easily see everything on his monitor on the earth. What David is seeing in Tomorrowland. Just to see all this, you need the right frequency. And all the pictures coming through this machine are of the destruction of the future. And everyone is sure that the future is going to end now. And this signal is going to the earth. That's why people on earth know that the earth is going to end very soon. But they have also agreed that they cannot do anything about it. Because everything is already decided. That's why they are not doing anything to save the earth and are not even thinking about it. Casey tells Frank that if we shut down this machine here. Then the negative messages that are going to the earth from here will be completely shut down. And after that, man will start thinking in the positive direction. 
he tells all these things to David. But David doesn't pay much attention to what he says. He says that man himself wants to die. Every day the weather is changing very fast. Glaciers are melting, but man is not doing anything about it. We sent such images to his brain through this machine, so that he can know that the earth is being destroyed. But instead of doing anything, he agreed that his end is certain. Casey's point is absolutely right here. The people on earth who can do something to save the earth and the environment. Because of the messages of this machine, it has already been fed into his brain. That the end of the earth is certain. That's why people are not doing anything. Now David is sending these three back to earth. He shakes his hand to say goodbye to Frank. He shakes his hand to say goodbye to Frank. Frank presses some of the buttons of the gadget in David's hand. Which opens the portal here. Which can be used to go to earth. Now there is a fight between Frank and David. Both of them come out of the portal while fighting. That means both of them are on earth now. This is a deserted place. It is shown in Tomorrowland where Athena gives a bomb to Casey. This is a very dangerous bomb. Actually, both of them want to blow this machine with this bomb. Because it cannot be shut down. They turn on the bomb. But by then the robot drops the platform on which Casey stands. From where it can blast the machine. Now the bomb is on here. And it is going to blast in a few seconds. That's why Athena opens the portal door. And throws the bomb out where Frank and David were fighting. After seeing the bomb, both of them run inside the portal for Tomorrowland. And then the bomb is blasted. Although both of them come inside. But David is buried under a very big metal sheet. Here Athena sees in this machine that David is going to shoot Frank in the next few seconds. And as David shoots Frank, Athena comes in front of him. Because of which Frank's life is saved. But Athena's system starts to deactivate. That means she is dying. And then Casey is shown to David. And she snatches his gun from him. Here Frank takes Casey to another place. Casey tells him that when you were young and I brought you to Tomorrowland, we became friends. But I used to feel very different for you. Which my program had never done before. I could never tell you that I am a robot. Because I didn't want to make you sad. In Tomorrowland, I was the only one who trusted you. But when you found out the truth, you got angry with me. Actually, Frank also loved Casey very much. That's why when he found out that he was not a human but a robot, his heart broke. Now Casey turns on her self-destruction mode. And she tells Frank to take her to the machine. And Frank takes her up in a jetpack that he made in his childhood. And then there is a very big blast here, by which the whole machine is completely destroyed. And she falls on David, who is trapped, by which David dies. Then it is shown that Casey goes to her father and brother. Her father is NASA's engineer. That's why her father and brother get permission to live in Tomorrowland. Frank and Casey are now the heads of Tomorrowland, and the way they got pins. Now they send pins to all those people who are trying to save the Earth after the machine breaks so that they can come to Tomorrowland and do their invention better. And save the Earth. 60 days are completed and nothing happens to the Earth. That means Casey's thought was absolutely right. So this was the whole story of the film Tomorrowland.